If you're suffering from anterior or lateral knee pain, chances are the problem's not coming from the site of pain, and it's normally a whole biomechanical chain of events from your lower back to the sacroiliac joint, muscles across to the hip, down the lateral and front of the thigh, which then leads down to the knee. So you need to address that whole movement chain in order to correct what's going on with the knee. Start off by working on your posture, and uh, you might want to look back at some of my videos about posture cueing. That's a good place to start. There are other good resources out there, like The Power of Posture by Functional Patterns, um, and even looking at some posture correction techniques like Feldenkrais or Pilates or the likes. Next thing you want to do is release all the inhibited or tight muscles. So a foam roller will do this. If a foam roller doesn't work deep enough, you can always use a lacrosse ball or something that's a little bit denser. So we can start off at the lower back, placing the roller just under the joints of your lower back. Tuck your knees in towards you. I'll just change my angle here for you. Tuck your knees in towards you just so that you're opening up through the joint spaces in your lower back and you're get, get, getting the muscles on a bit of a stretch. Then from here, taking your knees across from side to side. You might have to adjust the position of the roller just to feel that on those muscles on either side of your spine. So around 10 or 20 each side is good. Then from lower back, you're moving up to the muscles just behind the hip, which go across from your sacroiliac joints across to the side of the hip. And rolling up and down along those muscles, you should feel a few tight spots. If you want to lengthen the muscle or put the muscle onto a stretch, which helps to get a little bit deeper in, you can cross your ankle over your knee. Remember, you're at a bit of an angle for this one. And what you do on one side, you're always going to do on the other side. From there, you can go onto this nasty little muscle here called the TFL, tensor fascia lighter. Put the, your, your hip just a little bit higher than the ball of your hip onto that soft part of the muscle um, on the roller, and then you're rolling across to get those tight spots in that muscle. Again, you might just have to adjust the position of the roller just so that you can hit those really nasty tight spots in that TFL muscle. The next thing you want to do is your lateral thigh. So just below that bony prominence of the hip, rolling up and down the length of the side of your thigh, all the way from your knee up to just before you hit that bony prominence. Don't rub over the bone, otherwise it'll, there's potential to bruise the bone, it'll be quite tender. And then lastly, working on the quadriceps muscles, the front of the thigh, doing one leg at a time. You can put more body weight on the roller by crossing your foot behind your knee and rolling up from your knee all the way to the front of your hip. So that'll address all those tight muscles, like I said, around 20 up and down or side to side, or you might do it for time around one minute for each spot. Remember, to work bilaterally, you're working both sides. The next thing you want to do is work on some stability. So what I mean by stability is working on the core muscles. You can start off on your back. This is one of my favorites called the dead bug with a little bit of a variation from your dead bug position, legs up in tabletop, arms up. You pull one arm back, opposite leg down. And then from here, push your hand into your knee and then your knee back into your hand. Squeeze or push for a count of three. One, two, three. Go back up into your dead bug position and do the other side. Push hand into knee, knee into hand. One, two, three, and switch. Keep on working around 10 on each side. Or again, you can set the timer for about a minute. The next one, up onto your hands and knees, bird dog. Again, with a little bit of a variation. Make sure your heels are up, squeezed into your bum. That'll get the hamstring muscles working, which are good stabilizing muscles of the knee. Then from here, extend opposite arm and leg. 
lengthening out fingertip away from toes. One, two, three. Lower, lift the other side. One, two, three. Lower. Okay, so those are your two strictly core exercises. And then from here, you can go into more of a hip stability exercise. Single leg balance. Take one hand, reach across to the other side. And up tall. Right hand across to the left side. And keep on working that side for around 10 to 20 repetitions or for about a minute. And then switch legs, left hand across to the right side. And before long, you'll feel those glute muscles, the hip stabilizers, really starting to fire up. The last one that I'll get you to do is to focus on the, um, the what's called the VMO muscles, the muscles that control that end point of knee extension. Just about the last five to 15 degrees where you're locking your knee, which is a really important muscle to make sure that the kneecap tracks straight up and down the line of the femur or the thigh bone. So for this, you're gonna use a wall and um, you can use a, the inside of a door frame or just straight up against the wall into a, uh, a wall sit. Make sure that you're in the 90-90 position. Hips in line with knees, knees in line with heels. And from here, pushing your head back against the wall, shoulder blades, pull your belly into your spine, spine into the wall. And now comes the tricky part. You're going to extend one leg, lower it down, extend the other leg, lower it down. Make sure you do a full extension so you feel that squeeze of that uh, inner quadriceps muscle, the VMO. Again, around about 10 each leg, you can work up to 20 each leg, or you can go for about a minute, even working up to two. The idea is not really to fatigue the muscles, the idea is just to get those muscles activated, to get them switched on, just so that the muscles send that feedback loop up to your brain to say, hey, I know where I am and I know how to work. And then that your brain keeps that feedback loop mechanism working so that your muscles know what to do for the right reason at the right time. Hope that helps. Give it a go every day until that knee pain disappears. Um, just a word of note or caution, just make sure that you visit your physical therapist, chiropractor, osteo, physio, myotherapist, whatever your flavor, just to ensure you've got an accurate diagnosis for your knee pain to make sure there's nothing more sinister going on. Enjoy this one.